Okay, so I'm going to get my my griddle back on the fire, and then I'm going to take just make sure that that butter got mixed all the way around. I'm going to take one third of a cup of this mixture, drop it on there, and then you got to spread it out a little bit. I'll bring the camera closer for another shot. But you can, when it starts getting done on the bottom, you can see the edges are starting to get a little brown. You gotta let it cook. You can see underneath there that it's done. So what you got to do is, got to be real quick, that, the second side cooks faster. one more time just to get those little edges on the side there done. Alright, that one I think is done. Alright, so here we go. A little bit of butter on there. it out. I don't know if you'll be able to see under there. But you can kind of see that it's getting done. Almost lost that one. So about that. A little disturbance, disturbance. Now these, this one that looks like I turned it. Yeah, see, it's just soft. So I might have flipped it too soon. Just let it cook a little bit more on that side. You learn which, when you're making, you know, with whatever your ingredients are, I mean, your utensils, like I'm using this cast iron griddle. You can also use a skillet. We do it in a, in a stainless steel skillet. Let me move this one off. Here. This one won't take too long to heat up because it's. Look at this one here. Just put a little bit of butter in there. Wanna wait till that's bubbling a little bit.
Now I see bubbles on it, so I'd say it's hot enough. I'm going to make this one... See, this is going to be a little bit harder to scoop because the pan is, like, you know, got the edges. So it'll be harder for me to get in there. I can show you what will happen if you turn it too soon before it's not ready to turn. See, this one is just just barely starting to get done around the edges. If I try to scoop it, see, it's just going to kind of, it's going to be a mess. So, definitely want to wait until it's more done. Or use a griddle. <laughs>